This is a tutorial on how to measure curved line features such as roads or rivers. What we're going to first do is we're, uh, we're looking at our Colorado County here with the streets layers added. So what we're going to do is we're going to only select one street that we're interested in. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, right click on it and we're going to select that road just by doing a definition query. So we're going to go in here. The FE name is the field that gives us our names of the streets and we're going to equal it to Morrison uh, because it's one of the streets there that have a curved feature. As you can see, we're just going to zoom in now. Now you could use just the measuring tool and measure, but as you can see, it's not going to be that accurate. As you can see, there's some gaps. Um, if you just needed a rough estimate, this would work. However, we're going to do it a different way. Um, we're going to right click and open up the attribute table. And as you can see, this one street is made up of actually 57 features. Now, well, if you come over here to the very end, it gives us shape length. However, if you're using a shape file that you're not familiar with and doesn't have good metadata, you don't know what units these are in. So to be 100% sure of what the length is, we're gonna go around and we're gonna use a new option that's in the actual measure tool. As you can see, uh, there's this tool right here, measure a feature. We're going to click on that. Uh, first, I'm going to, there we go. And as you can see, whenever I click on a, a segment of a line, it gives us a length that tells us the length in meters of what that, that feature is. However, it can be kind of confusing seeing as there's 57 you have to add them all up so we're going to do a, a little a dissolve here that will merge all those features into one and then we'll be able to measure that one so you're going to put streets as our input feature and then uh, save it to somewhere you'll be able to find it and then just click OK And now we have a new feature, and if we right click on the attribute table and open it up, you can see that we only have one feature now. So what we're going to do is we can click on it and find out that it's 10,455 meters, or we can change the units to miles, click on it again, and it's almost six and a half miles. Um, so this is just one way of figuring out measure of a curved feature. This is one of the better ways because it's more accurate and you're less likely to make a mistake with uh, converting units by going into the... Uh, if you do know what units are, it's always good to use the shape length. Um, but one, like I said, you have to know what units were used in the creation of that shape feature. Uh, that's it for this tutorial.